My goodness, am I actually considering it? I think maybe I am. Oh wait, no, I'm not. It's $20. First day of school. What grades are you going into? Sixth. Third. Third? You get to use the microwave this year, don't you? Yeah. Are you excited? Uh, no. No? <laughs> don't right. burn the school down. What are we having for breakfast? Uh, Starbucks. Let's go. <laughs> Well, the kids started school today. Ashton is in middle school now, and Juliet is in third grade, but she finally has the, the privilege to use the microwave at school. So she's very excited about that. But anyway, I'm here at Goodwill, and I'm gonna head in and see what I can find to buy and flip for a profit, and here we go. So it has been quite a while since I was here last, and the last time I was here, I had Laurel with me, so I was a little bit distracted, and I didn't really have an opportunity to focus on the shelves too well, <laughs> but today the shelves have my undivided attention. They are actually restocking the shelves at this exact moment. We may be in luck. I don't know though, we will see. These are kind of interesting. I think these are probably canisters, uh, Cracker Barrel canisters. <laughs> They're missing their lids. Made in China. <laughs> Mm, I kind of like the looks of that one there. Well, is that a, oh, it's a shooting star. At first I thought it was a paper airplane. <laughs> I was like, oh, look, it's a little paper airplane. One ninety nine on that. I'll have to look that up. It's kind of a whimsical design, though. Those are made from soapstone, it feels like. Christmas tree shops. It's massive. What in the world is it? It has this faux wood on it. What does the bottom say? There's no markings on the bottom. It's crazy. I want to say it's probably contemporary. It's weird. Oh, there's a giant crack on the top, too. This one here is kind of neat. It's a decorative fish. $2.99. There's no markings or signatures. I feel like it might be like a, a mass-produced um, nautical decor, but it's only $2.99. I feel like there is some value there, so I'll take that with me. Wait, I'm gonna stick that in the cart and then go around the corner and check it out. <laughs> There's a family trailing really closely behind me and I didn't want to hold them up, but let's check this out. Um, it is made in Mexico. It's marked Mexico on the bottom, $2.99. I really love the colors and it's in pretty good condition. There's no uh, chips or cracks that I can see. So we're gonna stick that in there. <laughs> what are those? I mean, they're a little bit sloppy. I don't know if somebody painted the the tops gold. If they were meant to be that way, I don't know. I like them, but I feel like those are probably like sold at Big Lots or something like that. Here is a Florida Bell. It's glued back together. Somebody loved it enough to fix it when it was broken. This here. What? Oh my gosh, Wildflowers by Cricut. That's correct. Um, I found them recently. And I couldn't remember who makes it, but they have this weird little marking there on them. This one actually has an original sticker. And um, mine sold pretty well when I've sold them in the past. It is a wall pocket and it has kind of a floral look to it. So I will stick that in here. Those are interesting. I like the rusty color to them. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, this is nice. It's missing the big, uh, the big water thing, though. How about here? Oh, that looks like a souvenir. <laughs> or on this side of the shelf, there is kind of a nice yellow-looking vase, but I don't think that's anything special. It's trade wind, of course. This looks like um, it's that. It's kind of weird. Is it maybe for a tea light? I think it's probably Central or South American from the other side of the shelf that this one has a signature on it. What does that even say? Harvey something? 2008? It's a candle. Look at that. Gosh, she's beautiful, isn't she? <laughs> what is that, Relpo? My goodness, am I actually considering it? I think maybe I am. Oh wait, no I'm not. It's $20. <laughs> oh my gosh. They've lost their minds. I don't know though, it is pretty neat. I might have to look it up. I mean, I'd be willing to pay that for it if it's actually worth that, but um, I will have to look it up first before I commit to $20. Looks like um, the last one sold for $14. It was 18 inches tall, 
Here's another one. Um, that one looks about the same. That one sold for 18 So even though it's large, um, the subject matter is kind of limited. And this one sold for $25. So um, paying $20 for that would not be a smart decision. So I'm going to have to set it back up on the shelf. She is very pretty though. Um, so let's move on. Let's see what else we can find. This is the white and clear section. I don't usually find a whole lot here, but um, once upon a time I did miss Elisa Larson in this aisle, so <laughs> I try not to dismiss it. I like the gold on those plates. Have I looked? I feel like I looked at these. I'm like asking you, have I looked at these? And I won't get your response until after I uh, post the video and see the comments. Uh, I think I'm going to skip on those. They have kind of a more contemporary mark on the bottom. These are pretty. What are those? I like the faces on those. Um, there is a, a pottery artist that I follow on Instagram. And she makes all these adorable little mugs with faces on them. And uh, this is reminiscent of her work, but hers are like, she makes them. And these are just mass-produced ceramic. Those are kind of pretty. Those are, wow, those are painted on glass. And I like the painting on them. It's well done, I feel like. The shading is nice. That one I like a little bit more because they kind of look like foxglove. I've told you guys before I love foxglove. And you did inform me that it was poisonous, so <laughs> I have to be careful. But $3.99 each. They're going to be kind of a pain to ship, but we have boxes uh, that they would fit in, so I'm going to stick them in there. I think they're just decorative. That is kind of adorable. $1.99. Um, gosh, he reminds me of... What is that? Oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank. Um, I recently bought those, those maidens with uh, the bowl. <laughs> I guess that, that's all I got for you. And... Um, this reminds me of that pottery. It's very sweet for a buck ninety-nine. Sister. All right. It's funny how many hobbyist pieces that are here. And I actually just ran into a viewer, and I was, you know, we were admiring a hobbyist piece, and I said, you know, it's always the eyes where they go wrong. That's usually where they go wrong. These ones aren't too bad, though. This one right here. You know what I mean? She's got like that RBF real bad. <laughs> kind of neat, but only because uh, this is the nativity set that I grew up with. Um, and it was always my job every Christmas to put up the nativity set. And I can't tell you how many of these I dropped and chipped and broke. <laughs> my poor mother. I'm trying to figure out who all is here. Is this? I don't know. Obviously, he's a shepherd. Angel. Another shepherd. I don't see uh, Mary. This one might be Joseph. Mary and Jesus decided to go for a walk, I guess. <laughs> Look at the legs missing. Yep, that could have uh, could have been ours. Figuring. So those are home co. Um, someone had commented recently when I showed my office, when I showed the cross swords and I said they were mice and somebody else said Homeco. Homeco also has kind of like a cross swords design, but you can just tell by the quality, the difference between Homeco and uh, mice and this little lady looks like her head was actually glued back on. Browse through the purses real quick um, and then revisit that hard goods section because they are restocking. I figured I'd give them a moment to get some new stuff out on the shelf. I kind of like this purse. I don't know. It feels weird though. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I like the looks of that purse right there. We'll just have to wait a minute, I guess. What is this one? I don't know. I just really like the colors of it. I don't see any markings in that side. Kind of like a carpet, carpet bag. <laughs> Not that I really need any more purses, but I like that one. Skipped uh, this section here. This has mostly black things and metal things. And uh, this is usually the last one that I visit because it's just really not that exciting. And I'm not seeing much today. There is a faceless baseball player. Those waterer thingies. Huh. I'm considering it because my friend John got me a plant and I've managed to keep it alive thus far and I'm thinking if I don't have to remember to water it with this thing then I could really keep it alive so I think I'm gonna 
grab this for my own. You know what? I'm not going to. The reason I'm not going to is there's no price on it. What in the world is, oh my gosh, it's like one of those scrunchy things. <laughs> I don't think it would match my hair. That is dolphin. I missed this my first time through. I don't suspect that this is Murano. It's probably made in China. A lot of the Murano ones I find actually have a flat um, contact spot right here at the mouth, which is interesting. Um, this is $3.99. It's still probably worth about $18 to $24. So I'll grab the dolphin. This one has a price on it. This one is a buck ninety-nine. Here we go. I kind of like the red more anyway. This is an interestingly shaped teapot. Some flowers. What is this? Is that a, maybe for pencils, pencil holder? Sweet little home co duck. <laughs> I recognized him because I saw one in a baggie the other day. That one was all by itself and I left it. I should have bought it now. Then I would have had a, a pair of them. Okay, well, I think we've seen it all. Pretty certain we have. And I think, wait, I'm gonna look this up real quick. The reason I picked this up is because I recalled someone telling me something about a blue bow pattern on China that it was worth a lot of money. But I stepped aside and I looked it up and um, an entire set sells for like $120. So um, for this, you know, two plates, I don't really think that's worth it, but um, I figured it was we, at least worth looking up. Ooh, look. Starbucks. Hmm. I look that one up, too. I'm actually heading down this aisle because I saw him put something I liked on the shelf. Check this out. It's an owl toothpick holder. So we'll stick that in there, and then I just saw something else go up. This cute little guy for $2.99. It's made from stone. It's probably dyed green. Um, but it's two dollars and ninety-nine cents. You guys know I'm a sucker for owls. I'm gonna stick him in here. I think we're definitely gonna have to do a cart review when I'm all done. These on this are really pretty. There's a lot of scratching on it. And then this down here, what is this? Times Square clock. I did a Google image search on this Starbucks mug. This one sells before between $15 and $20, so it's not as exciting as a You Are Here mug, and I think I'm going to set this one back on the shelf. I do like it. If I was if I was needing any mugs, I would probably buy it for myself. Goodness, looks like somebody's owl collection is heading out onto the shelves. There is a fresh cart over there, but I don't really feel comfortable digging through the cart at this Goodwill. So I'm just kind of laying back and uh, been waiting for it to be put up on the shelves. But that's three owls we found. So I would say that somebody probably had donated their owl collection. $1.99 on that. I forgot to check the price. <laughs> this one just popped up too. Oh my gosh. I love owls. I guess today is my lucky day. I'm not as excited about that one though. These ones are cute. That looks like hull. Is it? Or is it a hobbyist piece? I feel like I have to peel back the sticker to see. It is marked Hull USA on the bottom, so it is Hull. A little miniature picture for $2.99. Okay. Well, I'm gonna check the shelves one last time and see if any more owls magically appear. Because that was kind of exciting. There it is. He looks like he might be made in Canada. Wolf sculptures made in Canada. <laughs> Look at his eyeballs though. $2.99 on that owl. So I'm going to take a moment now to look through everything that I have in my cart and make sure that there's nothing in here that I'm going to regret. <laughs> I think I was pretty selective today though. Lots of small things that are easy to photograph and um, worth a few bucks. And then these two large plates. This is the only thing I'm really doubting. But I feel like on the chance that it is what I think it might be, for a buck ninety-nine, it's worth grabbing. And all of these things can fit in this little bag to get it out to the car. So I think that's it for us. I was being drawn back to the white section and I just found this guy. I did peel back the sticker. It does say Bone China. I'm not sure 
Who makes it though? I didn't peel it back that far. But it is bone china, it needs a little bath. But we can hang out with our other owls. Okay, well that was a pretty good trip to the Goodwill. I feel like our total spend was right around $47. And um, it started out really slow. Started out slow. I was about ready to call it quits, and then I saw that they were restocking, and one owl showed up on the shelves, and then the second owl showed up on the shelves. I'm kind of excited for that bone china owl and figuring out what that says on the bottom because I peeled back the sticker just enough to see bone china, and um, the rest of it is a mystery. But I feel like we did pretty well today uh, for $47. And we're definitely going to make a decent profit on that. So I'm going to get out of here now. I'm probably going to head on down to the next Goodwill. Well, it's actually been a few weeks since I was here last. <laughs> I'm just noticing this bowl matches those two vases up there. Um, yeah, so it's been a few weeks since I was here. I'm hoping we're going to find some fresh stuff on the shelves. The shelves are looking a little sparse, like maybe they've been doing some uh, cleansing. I wonder if that's a hobbyist piece. Kind of interesting. Okay, well nothing amazing yet. I actually have one of these at the shop and I think, and it's, yeah, I've realized that I, I think it's for, um, is it caviar? No, escargot. I think these might be for escargot. I, I didn't know what it was for when I picked it up the first time, but now that I've seen a few of the escargot dishes, I'm pretty sure that's what this is. If it's not, let me know in the comments. These right here um, are very similar to a pair of cat uh, salt and pepper shakers I picked up the other day. These guys are little pugs. $2.99. They're pretty adorable. I saw them as I was walking by, but there was someone else uh, right in front of them and I didn't want to reach, so I was going to go back for them, but now they're mine. What is this? Looks like art pottery. It is. I recognize that mark. I feel like I've seen it before. Wharton, maybe? Maybe not. It's adorable, though. I think it's a child's cup and bowl. It's only $3.99. I noticed there's quite a bit of this on the shelves, that Pyrex. I don't think that's a super valuable pattern, though. I don't do much with Pyrex, as you guys know. Hmm, what can we find? Princess House Exclusive. Ikea mug. It's got a weird bottom to it. <laughs> I guess that disperses the heat. Alright, not much in that bin. Looks like they expanded the book section. This used to be artwork. Well, let's see if we can find anything in artwork. I kind of like this sketch. Goodness. Ah, that artwork just jumped out at me. Let's see that back up here. I like this sketch, but I don't see any markings or signatures on it. So, I think I'll leave it. There's another one up here. That's nice, too. Happy Mother's Day. Aww. <laughs> and another one. Hmm, this one is signed. Or if someone uh, donated their whole collection. Okay, so I have a few more shelves left that I need to check, but kind of slim pickings today. <laughs> That's a fun face. Dorothy Thorpe is still here, unfortunately. These are adorable, but I get the sense that they are Avon. <laughs> Maybe not. Caught, caught, no, that's Avon. Caudalion Cologne. Hmm. Let's see what we've got in Christmas. These look like they want to be Lennox, but they are made in China. This is interesting, but not interesting enough. Christmas home collection. I thought it kind of had a Jim Shore quality, but it is not. I think today is going to be a bust, unless, unless they bring on a fresh cart. Those are, um, Japanese teacups, I think. No markings on the bottom. I do love that glaze. They're $2.99. Probably $12 to $18. 
Maybe more if I'm able to pin down a maker. I don't know. I don't have very much in my cart today, so maybe I'll snatch those up. I'm going to swing back by the door and see if they have any new carts, but then I think I'm going to get out of here. Well, this is my last stop before I take off. And I don't see much. There is a Vera up here. $9.99 on my Vera. I noticed that um, a lot of the Goodwills charge a lot for Vera, even though the price has come down. I don't know what that is. Just has a has a heavy quality about it. What is this one? One says Prime Wear on it. All right. I don't think we're gonna have any luck. Oh, it's that guy, Totoro, isn't that his name? That cartoon, oh my gosh, look at him, <laughs> that's so fun. I mean, I would use that wallet. That's not worth anything. I think I'm gonna trade out my Louis Vuitton wallet for this one. I feel like we're getting closer. Every time we pick up a votive, we're getting one step closer to finding our glassy baby. Now I did find fire and light for the second time the other day and that was pretty exciting. But anyway, I think I'm gonna get out of here now. It's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you.